Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. Uh, this video is made with an objective that we parents start teaching our kids uh, on the basics of marketing, which uh, we can start with the basic four piece of marketing. Uh, kids with above uh, 10 years old will be ideal uh, to even watch this video uh, along with your parents uh, so that you can create some fun exercises also while you're learning these uh, basics on four piece of marketing so what are the four piece of marketing so product price place and promotion so these are your four piece of marketing. Can we repeat again? Product, price, place, and promotion. So what is the first P in the four piece of marketing? Product. Anything that can be offered to a customer or a market to satisfy the desire or need of a customer. Now that's the technical definition of it. But let me just explain you in a very simple way. The chocolate that you desire is a product. The toy that you have in your room to play with is a product. In fact, the videos that you watch in on many social uh, online platforms to learn is also a product because Product is not just only physical, it can also be a service. In products, there are so many things that you can look at. What are the features of the product? What is the performance, quality of the product? What is the durability? What is the reliability of the product? Is the product repairable? What is the style? What's the color of it? I like red. Uh, someone likes blue. Someone likes yellow. What is the design of the product, the product variety, the packaging, the size, how big, how small, the warranty, and the service. All this thing clubbed is what will give you the experience of the product. Now, as parent or if a kid is watching this video what i would suggest is take up a product in your room it can be a toy it can be a train toy it can be a barbie doll start writing the different things under each category of it what do you feel are the features of it what is the performance that you feel of it what color do you like what is the varieties of uh, other things something uh, within here you can see there's a van there's a car there's a truck uh, there's a train and within trains there are the ones which have magnetic uh, touches the one battery operated so many things how was it delivered to you what is the kind of packaging it was which was used to deliver the product to you what is the warranty of the product if it is uh, uh, at what uh, cost of it and do you have the warranty coming in what is the service have you got it repaired have you not got it repaired did you go uh, uh, so is the brand what is the different brands that you have try to make a list of it you will try to understand the various products that are there in your life the next important uh, p in the four piece of marketing is the price it is one of the most challenging uh, P also to teach your kid because you need to teach your kids that money doesn't grow on trees or get freely dispensed from your ATM machines. The kid needs to understand what is value and what is the price I'm paying to it. So the value of money is what we need to teach our kids. And by that, your kids will be able to spend wisely which will develop a good amount of skill within themselves which is good in the other aspects of their lives so show a recently purchased product to your kid 
and tell them the price of the product that you have paid to buy this uh, uh, to buy this product ask what does your kid think of this price does your kid think it's expensive does your kid say it's not a value for money does your kid say that it's high but acceptable does your kid say it depends on the product does your kid say i think the product is good you should be able to pay for it or the, does your kid say the brand is a premium one of course the price is going to be high and does it also say does your kid say it is very good is the best price that you could get or does your kid also say that why did you pay for such an expensive one try this exercise with your kid the next exercise you can do with your kid is provide a kind of a product you want to procure you want to purchase online okay and provide the basic features you want the product to have okay ask your child to go online browse for those kind of products okay and find the best suitable price for that product okay you are not going to mention on the brand you are not going to mention on the uh, range of the price and nothing you will just tell this is the product i need these are the features that i need in the product okay now the child has to go online and uh, of course now during the times of lockdown it has to go online search the various social uh, 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 purchasing platforms like amazon flipkart or uh, etc and find the best suitable price for the product do this exercise and compare whether your child has really got you the best suitable price and ask for the process of why the child has chosen this as the best suitable price it can also be brand it can be the product feature an addition feature to it let the kid justify the suitable price probably you can buy that and gift it to your kid the third important p is knowing how the distribution channel works or how this chocolate that is there in your hand has reached from the manufacturer to your hand so there are different channels that come up from the manufacturer to the end consumer which probably in an example of a chocolate is you so the company there are different ways for example the company can directly sell it to you okay not for chocolates of course where it is a, a small a big a high value kind of a product the company will sell it directly to the end user the company can sell it to a middle person who will then sell it to uh, the end user or the company will sell to another person who is called as a distributor who will then sell it to a retailer and then the retailer will send it to a end user which is you or the company will sell it to a distributor to a wholesaler to a retailer and then to you so understand one thing every one in this is for business they are doing business so that means more number of channels that you add more costs are built because everyone is taking their share of profit correct so therefore the value of the product also increases to you if there are more channels in between so that is also one of the ways where people try to say i will sell it online trying to reduce these channels by which they can sell directly to the end user bringing down the cost of the product the last p of marketing is promotion there are various ways of communication for example the feature or the product can be demonstrated to you or it can be dramatized in the form of a nice story or it can be explained to you what this product is or it can be just displayed for your viewing so there is a different ways how the product can be communicated to you look at the ads which are coming up on the television look at the ads which are coming up on your facebook feeds or twitter feeds 
see how is the ad being communicated to you as a consumer of the product is it being demonstrated is it being dramatized is it being explained or is it just being displayed for you also try to see the different ways companies are adopting there can be some company which is coming again giving you a flyer a kind of a poster uh, to in a form of hard copy so, or there can be a flyer which is posted on one of the social uh, platforms or on a website or there can be an advertisement coming up on your television or radios or they are just appearing on your social feeds okay so these are the different kinds of medias uh, of communications so the next exercise i would want you to do is pick up a paper and a pen and write one company name in one to two seconds as soon as you see the product on the screen toothpaste chocolate shoes car mobile phone shirt battery ask your kid why did he or she write these brand names okay and what was the latest form of communication or promotion of this company that your kid has seen it can be that the kid has seen for example when it's a toothpaste it might have seen a dairy milk ad okay i'm just giving an example so the uh, the, the kid might have seen that i saw the ad on television so that is how it is able to relate so that is how you probably connect the dots and say that how the companies are adopting the different advertisements for the particular consumers okay which can be the kid in this uh, case of uh, uh, chocolate so these are the basic four p's of marketing product price place promotion so next time you look up at any product on a supermarket or on a website or on any um, online platforms remember these four p's as to how the company is trying to sell you the product okay hope you enjoyed this video please uh, click on the like button or subscribe to this channel for more such videos. Thank you.